As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the church. You are well Sheesh. past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. Don't you think that's a little much for stealing a- for attempting to grave rob? Christ, Rhea! No. This isn't what we were told would happen. We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight. I'm not so sure about you, Rhea. There you have it. It seems the assassination attempt and the attack on the Holy Mausoleum were all the work of the Western Church. As for the Masked Knight who led the attack, I'm afraid his whereabouts are yet unknown. It makes no sense that the Western Church would try such a thing. It just goes to show that the Church of Saros is not completely united. The Church is led by those here at Garrick Mach, and the Western Church doesn't have a strong voice on its governing council. I imagine the Western Church has harbored some resentment toward the Central Church for a while now. The Western Church... what? Ah, that's right. Gerald did say that you grew up outside the influence of the Church. The Church of Saros is split into a few branches across Fodlan. The largest being the Central Church, which is headquartered right here at Garrett Monk. The Western Church lies far to the west of Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lenato held his rebellion. It's situated on the far side of the Kingdom's most impressive fortress, Arian Road. I imagine the Western Church's intention was to eliminate Lady Rhea, and the Central Church's authority along with her. Naturally, the Knights will be riding out to question the Western Church's top officials. Or rather, to punish them. When they do, Your Highness, we will likely be asked to help carry out said punishment. Indeed. Now, I don't mean to be rude, Professor, but I must say your situation is rather unusual. For someone to grow up in Fodlan and yet never have any contact with the Church of Saros is... It's hard to believe. I wonder why the Archbishop would hire someone like that as a professor. So, those people from the Western Church were... Um, Lady Rhea had them killed, didn't she? She's going to! Well, of course she did. Going against the teachings of Saros like that. Quite unforgivable. Those who stray must be punished, I suppose. That said, Professor, I... There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The Professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. 
Even without the crest stone, the sword glowed red. The professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have I'm just letting them hammer on. The professor to act. I don't have anything to add here. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. Who's this pomp? I suppose we're going to find out. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum. And especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the Sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Well, that's what you just said, Seteth. Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Who's Nemesis? Nemesis, the King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. When Fodlin was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlin. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The I didn't plan on it. The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? Uh, well, the sword chose me. Is that a fact? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The sword of the creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh, goodness, what was her name? Uh, cat. Uh... Catherine? Yes, her! The Sword of the Creator is different from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It. it frightens me. And yet. I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. Okay, can I finally get some runaround, please? Uh, yeah, that's a good place to save. Losing units. I am playing on classic, on casual, because I'm a scrub. Part 1. White Clouds. Verdant Rain Moon. Tower, Tower of the of Black, Black Winds. Winds. 
Interesting. Sounds super edgy. I'm not gonna do the screen shake the Lincoln Park no. that satiate the verdant landscape. Even though I kinda want to, because I think it's funny. Yes, I'm an asshole. I thunder. Just think it's funny. This is Finally does take pause, the clouds part and give way to a glorious rainbow. Need a little more oil on that. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Yeah, I've got a this electric simmering pot here because I like to burn oils. Oh, it already smells nice. Yes, yes, good. New places, money for the whatever. I have a new mission for you, Professor. Spit it out. I would like for you to take your students into Kingdom territory to eliminate some thieves. More of them? They stole a hero's relic from House Gautier of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The Lance of Ruin. Their leader's name is Miklan. He is apparently a disowned son of House Gautier. Why was he disowned? I believe it had something to do with his lack of a crest. Such happenings are fairly common within the kingdom. Well, that's a dick move. The crestless cannot unleash the goddess's power even if they possess a relic. Nonetheless, they are still capable of simply wielding those weapons. The hero's relics are immensely powerful weapons. We must meet this threat with adequate force. Unfortunately, most of the Knights of Seros are away from the monastery, purging the apostates of the Western Church. So we are entrusting you with this mission. After all, you wield the Sword of the Creator, which is more than capable of opposing any relic. Purging? Don't you think that's a little extreme for a few interlopers? Just kill the interlopers if anyone must die. Jesus. The Sword of the Creator is a powerful weapon well beyond the other relics. You have nothing to fear. However, to ensure that no harm comes to the students, we will also send the monastery's most skilled individuals to aid you. Why, I must thank remind you. you that you are expected to conduct yourself in a manner befitting the wielder of that holy sword. Doesn't also, look so holy to me. Professor Hanneman has been looking for you. That is all. I heard about our mission for this month. So, we are to eradicate thieves in Kingdom territory. I'm sorry for dragging you into the Kingdom's petty squabbles. This should not be your burden to bear, but my own. It's just a job. Thank you, Professor. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. Hmm? Your Highness? Ah, it's been ages! It's been a long time. Two years, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Your Highness. You've grown so much in those years, I hardly recognize you. Uh, he a friend of yours? Professor, this is Rodrigue. He's an old friend of my father's. Some of my earliest memories include this fellow. When my father died four years ago, he looked after me as though I were his own son. <laughs> you flatter me, Your Highness. It was my honor to care for such a fine young man. It's nice to finally meet you, Professor. My son, Felix, has mentioned you on occasion. Hmm. What brings you to the monastery, Rodrigue? Is it the thieves plaguing the kingdom? I'm afraid so. This is not merely a problem for House Gautier, but for everyone. The thieves have set up their headquarters in Faldarius territory and are mercilessly pillaging the villagers of that area. Hmm. You have our full support in stopping those dastards. I thank you for your help, both of you. Dastard is not a word you hear very often. Essentially, it means a vile or despicable person. Good of you to come, Professor. I've heard much about you lately. Specifically, that you are able to awaken the sword of the Creator's power. Thusly, it seems the true nature of your crest has been uncovered. I had, of course, seen your crest before. However, 
At first, I failed to recognize its true nature. Eventually, it dawned on me that what is visible is perhaps merely a small part of a greater whole. In other words, your crest is too significant to be detected when using normal instruments. <coughs> okay. After this discovery, I began researching crests that might fit that description, which allowed for a temporary hypothesis. However, I could not be certain. The crest my conclusions led me to was far too unusual. A crest thought to have disappeared from this world in the millennium since the fall of Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The Crest of Flames. That is what you possess. The Crest of Flames. Your ability to wield the Sword of the Creator has unequivocally proven my hypothesis. A legendary power, dormant since time immemorial and now resurrected, there can be no doubt that this ancient power resides within you. Okay, it's been 15 minutes of just exposition. Please, let me get to some gameplay. Send some flowers. Yes, protect the protagonist officers academy uniform in the journal. I bought the expansion pass. Let's do a little bit of exploring. Oh, I have some support. Dimitri and Didu. No, Mercedes or Mercedes, as they My say it. My goodness, sword training again today. Don't overdo it, all right? I certainly won't, but thanks for your concern, Mercedes. It's more yeah, of a hobby Mercedes. than anything, so don't worry too much. A hobby? How wonderful! I would probably get tired of it, but that's just me. Hmm. Didn't you say you hoped to take the sword test soon? You're right. I completely forgot that's coming up. What should I do? To Practice. be honest, I've been a bit worried as I haven't seen you at the training ground much. Why didn't you say something sooner if you were so worried about me? It didn't occur to me that you could have forgotten it. But you're right. I should have mentioned it. As an apology, why don't you let me help you with your swordsmanship? You would do that for me? I'd really appreciate your help. Okay, but keep in mind that since we're short on time, we may have to overdo it a little. I don't like to overdo it, but if we must, I'll try my best. It's settled. Let's begin. Don't tell me you've forgotten how to hold a sword. We have our work cut out for us. I usually just hold the sword without thinking about my grip, you know? Let's see what happens now that you've shown me the proper way to handle it. <laughs> I was nervous at first, but just look at me now. Yeah! <clears throat> Well, I didn't realize offering to help you would mean risking my life. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just meant to swing the sword. I didn't think it would go flying like that. I'm impressed with how quickly you can dodge. Yes, I know you didn't intend to murder me. <laughs> well, that scare likely took years off my life. Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole sword fighting thing. Nonsense. It's far too early to give up. The first time I picked up a sword, I was much like you. It's true that different people are better suited to different things. But if you keep at it and refuse to give up, you're certain to improve. Do you really think so? Thank you, Dimitri. It's very kind of you to... Oh! There's a rip in your cuff, Dimitri. How do you think... <laughs> it seems I didn't dodge your sword fast enough. Don't worry, I can easily repair it. I'm the one who tore it, so I'll be the one who mends it. How does that sound? No, please, don't worry yourself over it. Just focus on your exam. Oh, that was nice. Dudu and Ingrid. Are you injured? No. Good.
I'd have cut my way through, alone, without your assistance. My apologies. Your apologies are empty. Oh, Lord. Sulphur Springs, Texas. Oh, sure. Let's put that on speaker. Hello! You're on the air! Oh, piss off with that. I'm going to meet you and you can't extend the warranty. I don't have an extended warranty on my car. I bought it used. I... I spoke out of turn. I'm sorry to do. His Highness has put his faith in you. You're a valuable comrade, no matter my feelings. I... The people of Dusker... Save your breath. There were countless people like you in the capital. People who spat, threw things, insults and stones alike, whenever they pleased. Their anger was natural. I do not begrudge them. I... I see. You owe me no apology, and I will keep my distance on all other occasions. But on the field of battle, allow me to aid you. If you were to fall, His Highness would grieve. I see. Then I will accept your help on the battlefield. Understood. Okay. That was a nice conversation. Ash and Mercedes. Okay. Oh no, this isn't right. Now what am I supposed to do? What's the matter, Mercedes? I accidentally made this food much sweeter than I wanted. Let me taste it. Uh, depending on what it is, you can add spice to, to counteract that, balance it a bit. Mm, yeah, a little sweet. What if we try adding a few spices? Huh? This is delicious! You're an amazing cook, Ash! My dad used to own a restaurant. I helped out a lot around the kitchen, even as a little kid. Wow, that's a lot of responsibility to take on at an early age. No wonder you always work so hard. I might learn something if I watch you cook. Well, <laughs> no promises. I just have a little bit of experience, that's all. But look at you, you're great at baking cakes. It's true that I'm quite good at baking, but I'm not the best when it comes to seasoning. Maybe it's because I don't like spicy food? It's tough to make food taste good when you don't enjoy it. That's true. I just had an idea. If the reason I can't cook spicy food is because I don't like it, then all I have to do is eat some spicy food. If I learn to like it, then I'll be better at making it, right? That's not how that works. I don't know, maybe. What makes you say that? No, no, no. None of that matters. Once I've made a decision, I have to go with it. I'll make something spicy right away. Oh, this won't end well. No, it will not, Ash. No, it will if not. If I leave her to it, she'll make an even bigger mess. <laughs> hey, Ash, which seasonings should I use? These ones? Um, oh, hold on, Mercedes. Let me show you. That one goes best with meat, but for stir-fry, what you really want is this. You're a good boy, Ash. You're a very kind person. Mercedes and Ingrid. Nightfall? Already? Suppose I'd better wrap up. Good work with your training today, Ingrid. I know there's a lot of talking in this to one. Wipe up the sweat. Well, Mercedes. Hi. Hello. How long have you been? Um. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've been here since you started. Not long. Huh. Well, my apologies for not having noticed you. I get so caught up in training, you know. But why are you here? I can't imagine it was too terribly interesting watching me. I disagree. I just couldn't help but admire your training technique. I have to say, you are very impressive. I'm nowhere near as graceful as you. Graceful? I wouldn't say that, but thank you. If I'm to be honest, I'm the one who admires you. Goodness me, how so? You're always so put together. 
You hold yourself with such poise and have such a keen eye for fashion. I mean, even the handkerchief you handed me smells like... Lavender, is it? It's just lovely. That perfume is a favorite of mine. I'm so glad you like it. Even the fact that you thought to put perfume on your handkerchief is delightfully foreign to me. I'd never have thought of that. I'll gladly share some with you. You're welcome to come visit my room whenever you'd like. We can have tea and chat. How does that sound? Uh, that sounds really nice. Yes. <laughs> Sipping tea and having a chat. It's unlike me, but it sounds lovely. From now on, we'll meet up whenever we have time. We can go right now if you're free. Oh, no need to trouble yourself and rearrange things for me. It's no trouble at all. You'll never know if you're the type who enjoys chatting over tea if you never try. Well, good point. <laughs> all right, then. That was a nice conversation. Okay, Mercedes and Felix. Here you go, Felix. Have some tea. Oh. Hmm. Sorry, but we're all out of cakes. Should I bake some more? Please, don't. Oh, your clothes are so dirty. Let me wash them for you. Mercedes, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm just making tea. Is there something wrong with that? You're not my mother. You don't have to bother with all this. I can do without it. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You just remind me so much of my little brother. I do? Yes, his name is Emil. We have different fathers, but we grew up in the same household. Hey, look at that, Emil's in a Fire Emblem game. Say hello to Chucker Conroy. That is, until I was about eight or nine years old. I haven't seen him since then. Sorry to state the obvious, but I'm not your brother. I'm not a meal. Can't you find someone else to bother? Dude! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll leave you alone. Please help yourself to more tea if you'd like. I can leave the pot. Goodbye. Emil! Emil. Felix! This girl just poured her heart and soul out for you, and you are being a dick. I am me, Felix Hugo Fraldarius. There is no one else. <sighs> what is the matter with you? <laughs> Brother. Why so angsty? Dimitri and Annette. Annette is best girl. Good morning, your highness. At least to the blue lions. Some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. Morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father. He worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit, it was a bit lonely growing up. But I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes, he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your big brother? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> That's adorable. No, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? 
Well, for one, you used to tell this story about when you were a child, and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. <laughs> How about you forget we had this talk all together? And don't mention it to anyone. I'm gonna guess that's Felix and Sylvain. Yep. Hey Felix, you free? You don't look very busy. Let's go find some girls to chat with. Chat with them by yourself. You're interrupting my training. Hey, come on. Don't talk like that. How long have we known each other? Long enough, if you ask me. We only know each other because of our parents' friendship. I didn't have a say in it. Is that how it went? Huh. I remember it more like you always following me around. Whenever there was something wrong, like you lost to your brother, or you fought with Dimitri, you'd come crying to me. You were so meek and pure back then. Cute even. Like a baby brother. And that's enough. What? I said that's enough! Hey, sorry. I just came to see if you wanted to pick up some girls. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. Look, well, you've you been did. getting on my nerves for years. I've tried to be patient with you, but I'm tired of holding my tongue. You're reckless in your personal affairs and in battle, and you're always prattling on about women. Well, if a man sees a pretty girl, he can't just let her pass by without commenting. That's just rude. You're insatiable. Do you ever stop? Certainly not to practice your sword technique. You always skip training. And you never consider how your actions hurt others, or how you hold them back. So fucking edgy! That's never my intention. Come on. You know me better than that. I'm not really... Look, if that's the impression I've given you, then I'm sorry. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. How do I access those storehouse? Where do I get those officer's robe? I honestly don't know. It said in my journal... Goals... Yeah, they're working on that. We don't know. If anybody knows where to get those, that'd be great. Maybe options? No, why would it why would it be an options? Seriously, it says... This is where it says it is. In my journal. But I don't know how to actually access it. 
Oh, hi, Southis. You're just here. A stone? A stone. I do not understand. Yet, as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Hmm. Well, you just hang around here. Oh, journal right here, unit appearance. A witch cloak. Are those the officer's uniform? It definitely seems to be the case. I like the cloak. That way I can still have that beautiful Celtic rune on the back. And the cloak looks a lot more natural. Okay, let's go with it. Accept the quest. From Seteth. Okay. Okay, Seteth, what do you have for me? You're in there, your quarters. So. Ah, Professor. Gerald was looking for you. It seems he has gone off somewhere. If he is not in his room, then surely someone has seen him. Ask around. Oh, great. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. I have something to oh, ask of you. Oh, sure. Faculty training. Sword. Okay. Really? Oh, Professor, are you looking for Captain Gerald? I just saw him in the Knight's Hall a little while ago. He was talking with a female knight, but I didn't get a good look at who she was. Okay. Oh, there's Catherine. Oh, Gerald? He said something about visiting a grave. There's a graveyard attached to the monastery, so you'll probably find him there. I oh can't my remember God. where the graveyard is, but I bet Sedith knows. Faculty training. Sword. Oh my God, back to freaking Sedith. When I asked for run around, I didn't mean it literally. I meant as in, let me run around and do my own thing. Go back? Ah, the graveyard. Of course I know it. It can be a little hard to find. Would you like me to show you where it is? Yes, please. Very well. Just north of the Knights Hall. Thanks for your help. Hey, I wanted to ask you to join me, but I 
couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. I can get some faculty training with you. Lance, uh, authority, or riding. Let's go, sure, authority. Well done. You have my thanks. Okay. And I can finish exploring for the day. Yep. Sounds good. Instruct manually, because there are certain people I need to instruct. Them being one of them, which being Ingrid. But you don't have any motivation. I should probably get you some dinner. Oh, you're up to C on both Blade and Lance. Good, good. Okay, Felix, let's get your swordsmanship up. This could be useful. Maybe. Interesting how you also do unarmed. Authority, sure. This could be used. And more strength than your swordsmanship. Ash, I want you to get your a bow ability up. Why are you so interested in learning the axe? Oh, because axe and bow are your goal. Sure. I have to give you an axe. Am I stuck? I've an axe archer, sure. I've okay, Annette. Let's have you learn some white magic. Thanks. Okay, Dimitri. Your swordsmanship and your lancemanship could use some more equipment. Most importantly, swordsmanship. Oh, come on, man. Work on your grip. Apologies. Group tasks. Skywatch is going to be Ingrid. Because that's something you really like, and sure, uh... Why not, Ash? Let's, let's, let's go Sylvain. Begin lecture. I'd like to ask you something. Art has been my... never been my forte. Okay. Yeah, I'm not much of an artist either. Imperfections in art piece add to the charm. Really? Work with them. I guess that's not what you wanted to hear. Uh, update. You want to work on your sword skill to explore. I've already been working on you as an. Pegasus Knight. No! Do you have any idea how... Oh, Ash? Dimitri would like to speak with you. Sure. Perfect timing, Professor. If you don't mind, I have a favor I'd like to ask of you. Well, what's the favor? Spit it out, man. It's in regard to sword training. Not for myself, but... Well... To be honest, 
I've been teaching swordsmanship to the orphans at the monastery for a while now. How unexpected. I must agree. Frankly, I'm not great with children. Some of them saw me sparring with the knights one day. They started pestering me to teach them. They were so earnest, I couldn't help but oblige. There's much I wish to show them, but due to my own studies and training, I'm afraid my time is rather limited. Which brings me to my favor. Your swordsmanship is unmatched. I hate to ask this of you, but would you consider lending me a hand? Sure. Thank you, truly. I am in your debt, and I always repay my debts, I'll have you know. All of these children lost their families and homes to war or illness. This may sound a bit arrogant, but I feel it's my responsibility to help them. I lost my parents without warning, too. In that way, we're the same. In Dusker, I lost my father, stepmother, and closest friends. I didn't have many allies at the castle after that. In truth, I had only to do for companionship. Have you no other family? I'm afraid not. My birth mother fell ill and died shortly after I was born. And my uncle... Suffice to say, we don't get along. Ah, but there were those outside the castle walls I was close to, such as Rodrigue. On the occasions he would visit the capital, he'd take me out hunting or on long horse rides. While Dudu is like a brother to me, Rodrigue is more like a second father. It might sound ridiculous, but... He's the kind of man I hope to become one day. Someone who helps others. Someone who can reach out and save a lost soul. Oh, please, accept my apologies for boring you with my life story. In any case, don't forget your promise, Professor. I'm counting on you. Okay, cool. Ingrid, I'm not gonna get away with anything. Stop messing around and get moving. You don't work, you don't eat. Fine, fine. Let's do this. <sighs> Seems we finally finished. That's it. I'm done. No more work for me. Especially not with her. Not in a million years. You two don't get along? Okay. I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as we have ourselves a little practice battle and see what else the monastery has for us. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.